Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim. Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers doing the work. And Shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. Just want to go on the video in uh, regards to uh, Matthew 25. And I uh, just want to go into uh, the pre preparing for the coming of Yah uh, of the marriage or the coming of Yahweh Shai, which is also known as the coming, the second coming, as they call it. Um, the, the way you prepare for the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai is by um, teaching this word. And I'm going to go into that. And in Matthew 25, it talks about the ten, the ten virgins, <clears throat> which is a uh, which is a metaphor or an allegory. Uh, the Bible is filled with uh, allegories and metaphors. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> Let me go into uh, scripture here real quick in regards to. Uh, me see Ezekiel 17 and start at verse 1 and the word of the Lord came unto me saying son of man put forth a riddle and speak a parable to the house of Israel and we should know what, what a riddle is a riddle is like a mystery and the Bible is filled with mysteries allegories symbols things of that nature so uh, let's see um, let's go to real quick Ecclesiasticus of Sirach 39 and let's start at verse 1 but he that giveth his mind to, to the law of the most high with this word and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies verse 2 he will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where and listen, and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. So these scriptures, <coughs> um, uh, this is where uh, your mind should be in these dark parables, in these grave sentences, and preparing for the coming of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, prep, uh, prepping, you know, you know, a lot of people, they're prepping, you know, for food, famine, and all that stuff, well, this is spiritual prepping, prepping, we are prepping for the Lord, so let me go into Matthew, Matthew 25 real quick, Let's start at verse 1, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened, listen, unto ten virgins, which took their lamps, and went forth to meet the bridegroom, now these ten virgins aren't virgins like never having sex. It's talking that's talking about uh, not being defiled with other philosophies, other doctrines. All right, and that was uh. So let me go into Revelation fourteen and three real quick. And fourteen and three, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne. And before the four beasts and the elders and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty four thousand which were redeemed from the earth okay listen verse four these are they which were not defiled with women for they are virgins these are they which follow the lamb which is Yahweh Shai whithersoever he goeth these were redeemed from among men being the first fruits unto the most high and, and to the lamb so these virgins is talking about that we're not <clears throat> scriptures talk about how in their mouth there'll be found no guile okay they were they were deep they weren't defiled with other doctrines okay you know islam and we got all these other religions that's what this is talking about all right so back to uh Matthew 25 it says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps 
and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Now the lamps, what is a lamp? A lamp is, provides a, a light, right? But you have to have oil in those lamps in order for it to be effective, to work, right? And the bridegroom is Yahweh Shai. Okay, the bridegroom is Yahweh Shai. Okay, verse 2. Uh, let's see. It's like, let's start back in verse 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps, listen, and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of, of them were wise, and five were foolish. Now these five, these five wise and five foolish virgins are teachers. The five wise virgins are the teachers that were um, placed and put into the position to teach by the Most High Himself, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Okay, these were the real teachers of the doc of the of the scriptures. Then the five that were foolish are the ones that weren't set up by the Lord. These are these pastors and these false teachers, okay? Listen, verse three. <clears throat> they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Okay, remember? These these lamps have oil, these old lamps. Like you saw in this video and earlier in, the, in this video, some there were some image, images of these old, old uh, oil lamps. That oil represents understanding of the scriptures. Okay. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Meaning no understanding. They didn't have understanding. But the wise, listen, took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Right. So now they were wise. The, 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 they had the understanding okay and, and and now they have a light they can see um uh with the lamps having the oil okay uh, psalms 119 and started 104 through thy precepts i get understanding therefore i hate every false way listen verse verse 105 thy word listen is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path read that again it says the word is a lamp the word is said this scripture this word this doctrine this bible is is is, is, is a um the knowledge wisdom and understanding <clears throat> which is going to provide uh allows you to see the lord is giving you insight on what's what's to come his war plans okay this is we're enlightened we see what's coming. We see what the devil is doing. The Lord is, is allowing us to see into the future. See that? It's, it's, it's a light. It's like you go into a house. You, you, you turn on the lights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't know what's in there. So this word is, is provided. Let me read that again. One of, uh, Psalms 119 and 105. That word, which is, okay, this is this Bible, is a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto my path. See that? So the wise virgins took understanding of this word. That's what that's talking about. It's a parable. It's a, it's a symbolic. Okay, but listen though. We're preparing for Yahweh Shai, the coming, coming of our Lord. And the way you prepare for him is by teaching, right? Listen. When the bridegroom tarried, let me, let me explain to you why this, this parable, parable is talking about light, right? Listen to this. But the wise took their oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Listen, that okay. Talking about in, in, in deep sleep, not sleep in the bed, talking about ignorant. Okay. Esau has cast a a uh let me see here. Hold on one second. <clears throat> let me give you uh real quick. Uh Psalms that's a parable when it says we all slept it's talking about you're in a state of ignorance okay psalms uh 23 and verse 3 he restored my soul he leaveth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake listen verse 4 yea do i walk listen through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me Listen, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So what this is saying is the, the, the valley of the shadow of death is America. 
And that shadow is a darkness. That's that's the misinformation. That's the ignorance, the darkness that they keep you in. Okay. And it said that rod and that staff, they come from me. That's the scriptures. That's the Bible. Okay. And it's the understanding of the scriptures. Okay. The, 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 the understand the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Bible. Okay. So let's go back here to Matthew 25. And <clears throat> so it's in verse 5, it says, While the bridegroom tarried, which is Yahweh Shai, they all slumbered and slept, okay? And at midnight, okay, now midnight is the darkest point or darkest time at night, okay? So this is, again, this is a, this is a metaphor, this is a parable for the misinformation, okay, the darkness that we're in. All right, that's what this is talking about. And at midnight, there was a cry, listen, behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. So when they heard this word, this doctrine, they 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 woke up out of ignorance, out of darkness, out of the midnight. And they trimmed their lamps. And when you go into that word trim, it goes in to, to prepare. Okay. They're, they're, they're preparing themselves, the wise virgins, for the coming of uh, our Lord. Let's see, let, me, let, me, let me go back. Let me give you. Hold on a second. Let me go back here. So it says, again, they rose up, right? They, they awakened. Let me, let me grab it again real quick and read that again. Um, verse 6, 20, Matthew 25 and 6. And at midnight... There was a cry made, and behold, the bridegroom cometh. Okay, notice that at midnight. Go ye out to meet him. All right? And they said that all those virgins arose, right? They rose up out of, they rose up out of ignorance, out of, out of darkness. I right, Matthew 119 and 62. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgment. See that? Meaning that we were, when it, again, uh, you know, precept upon precept, line upon line. This goes with uh, what I just read back here in Matthew uh, uh, <clears throat> verse 6. That we rose up, we were, we were awakened, okay, into this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And we're, pre we're preparing ourselves for the coming of our Lord, right? And, and how do you prepare? Like I just said, we you prepare by teaching. Uh, we prove it to you. Uh, Ezra 7 and 10. For Ezra had prepared his heart, which is which is the mind. Okay, For Ezra has prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach in Israel statutes and judgments. So this is what you're seeing. When you see the men of the Lord out here teaching on videos, when you see the men of the Lord doing videos and going out on the highways and byways, they're preparing themselves for the coming of of the marriage lamb, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay, just want to hit that real quick and uh, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakadash, Shalom. All.